Hello, an evening of unnecessary detail fans. I come to you um, looking like I am in a conspiracy theory video because I am. Um, I <coughs> wanted to cover this on the night, but unfortunately, because world uh, went the way it did, I am going to do a, um, a version of what I wanted to talk to you about on the 31st of March, um, which is this poster. Now, this poster I uh, came uh, became aware of when I was doing an archaeological uh, investigation of the Manor Place Baths. Uh, we were doing some historical background to understand the use of the site and, understandably excitingly, I uh, came across this on the internet. Evidence, potentially, that uh, infamous gangsters, the Cray Twins, had boxed at Manor Place Baths. That's what it says on the poster. But, as we all know, you can't take these things for granted. So I, just to back up my uh, look at it, thought I would do a little bit more investigation. And it has opened a rabbit hole I did not think I would fall down. So I'm going to drag you all with me. Uh, enjoy. Because the first thing that happened was I just decided I wanted to try and uh, verify one of the fights. Uh, the Ronnie versus Al Gunning was the first one that I did. And I, I went to uh, the repository of all boxing knowledge, uh, Box Rec website. Uh, We'll get to them in a second, because it's important to understand how deep this goes. So, the first thing I did is I looked at the Ronnie Cray and Al Gunning. And I looked at Ronnie's career. He had uh, just a, a short number of fights. He'd only had six fights in his professional career. And uh, what struck me straight away was none of them were against someone called Al Gunning, which started to ring alarm bells, but um, I thought maybe there was just a mistake with that particular one. Uh, I'll look up what Al Gunning did with his career. And yes, there is a boxer called Al Gunning. Um, he is uh, billed on the poster as being from South Africa. Uh, the only Al Gunning I found was from Trinidad and Tobago. Bit, uh, bit, bit of another problem there, unfortunately. Um, and when you look at his boxing record, Al Gunning had far more fights, but none of them were against a Cray twin, and none of them were at Manor Place Baths. Problem. So, I then decided to look into Reg Cray, the other fight. I'm, 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 I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you got one about wrong. There are two Cray Twins. You've got a chance to get the second one right. Unfortunately, there is, again, a problem with Reg's record, and that is that Reg's record does not have Billy Ambrose on it. It's got lots of other fighters, but no Billy Ambrose. So, again, I looked up Billy Ambrose, and yes... Billy Ambrose exists, and this time he's actually from the country that he's listed, which is very exciting. So Billy Ambrose is a real fighter, and he's fighting in 1952. Now, there's something else I need you to pay attention to. Both of the Cray Twins' boxing careers ended in 1951. That is important. Remember that. But Billy Ambrose is still fighting in 52, 48 to 52. So he could have been an opponent for one of the Cray twins. He wasn't. He did, however, unlike the Crays, it would appear, actually appear at Manor Place, uh, which was very exciting. He had his only draw of his entire career against Don Debsworth. His only draw was at the Manor Place Baths. But it was not against a Cray twin. So, we're two for two. How are we doing with the rest of the fights? Let's look further down the bill. How about Billy Rushmore 
versus Tony Burns. Billy Rushmore versus Tony Burns. Well, problem straight off, Billy Rushmore is not listed as a boxer. And now, I am using everything from Box Rec. Um, I think it's fair to see, I'm only using a single source, so how good is that source? Well, uh, Box Rec is the official uh, uh, keeper of records for the ABC the uh, Association of Boxing Commissions. Basically, they're the official recorders for all of boxing. This was not always the case. In 2005, they were up against as another group called Fight Facts, and uh, interviews were held by both of them, and Fight Facts won unanimously as to be the sole recorder. However, in 2018, with a vote of 34 to two, the ABC decided to make BoxRec the sole record keeper, uh, as you can see by this extract from their minutes. Oh, the detail. Anyway, back to the non-existent Billy Rushmore. He does not appear anywhere in their records. This is a problem, because to fight someone, uh, they have to exist. Tony Burns, although if he was also a fictional character, maybe he's got a fighting chance. Unfortunately for Tony, he was real. Mm. Um, he also stopped fighting in 1949, two years before the Cray Twins started. Tricky. Maybe he was imaginary by that point. Uh, I have no evidence for this. But then I had another look at Billy Rushmore, and I think Billy Rushmore is even more troubling, because I don't think he's just fictional. I also think he's a joke, because when you look at the listing for Billy Rushmore, it says underneath it, as part of the advertisement, sadly killed his last opponent. That would be a sad thing. It would be something potentially that a boxing promoter in the 50s would put forward as being an exciting thing for the fighter to draw crowds. But then he's listed as being out of Broadmoor. The man who killed someone is listed as fighting out of a prison. You're a joke, Billy Rushmore. And I don't mean that. You, you're literally a joke. This poster is looking weirder and weirder. I had to look further down the card. I wanted to find out if there was anything that was real. I looked through all the fights, and then I, the very last one on there was the Brian Brazer versus Vic Andretti. Hmm? Brian Brazer, are you real? Yes. Yes, you are real, Brian Brazer. You are onto a winner. You're already beating Billy Rushmore. Um, which you've already covered is very difficult to do when he doesn't exist. Nine uh, wins, five losses, five KOs. But the important thing is, did you ever fight Vic Andretti? Yes, they actually did fight. There was only two small problems with that fight. Number one, it didn't take place in the right place. And the second problem is they fought in 1964. <laughs> what? Why is this lie? It's such a small lie. The whole poster is a ridiculous con. It's only being sold for four pounds a pop. Not many places stock it anymore. And everything Match on the card is fake, except for this one, which is real, but is from the wrong time period. Why go to those lengths to make... Anyway, this isn't even close to the, 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 the madness that is on this poster. Because I've said uh, a couple of times now uh, to remember that the Cray Twins only fought professionally in 1951. And that is important because... This poster is constantly sold over the internet as being a reproduction from 1953. So even the listing of the poster itself says that the fights took place two years after the Cratrins stopped fighting professionally. And why did they stop in 1951? Because they went into national service in 1952. <sighs> and when they got back from national service, they were into crime. So, either this poster 
is two years too late for the main headliners on it, or just 11 years too early for Vic and Brian. Or a, a, totally the wrong time period and existence for Billy Rushmore, who, as we covered, is dangerously fictional. But that isn't the, the end of it, because it says on the poster, if the poster is from 1953, although it doesn't say anywhere on the poster that it's from 1953, it's just the listings that say that, and I can't find out where they've got that from. But if it's from 1953, then there's a lie right at the top as soon as you start, because it says that it was a fight card for Saturday the 16th of June. Which, as we all know, if we have access to the internet and the website timeanddate.com, that the 16th of June in 1953 was a Tuesday. Nothing about this poster is real. And I don't know why effort has been put into it. It is clearly someone has put in magnificent amount of research to find these boxes or names similar to boxes to make up a fake poster to sell for a few pounds. Why did you do this? Who hurt you? I need to know. Anyway, that's probably too much detail.